That Sunday evening, uh, when it was announced in the radio that a Kwaibum State had been created out of Cross River State, what was the Southeastern State, uh, the urge was for us to leave Calabar and go home, and we did it. Akwaibun State, fondly referred to as the Land of Promise, was created on 23rd September 1987 by the General Ibrahim Babangida regime. It can be recalled that the founding fathers of Akwaibun State invested decades of struggle and agitation before their wishes were finally granted with attendant joy and a sense of fulfillment. Since its creation, different administrations have written indelible interesting chapters in the book called Aquaibon State. From the pioneer governor, Lieutenant Colonel Tunde Jonathan Ogbeha, to the incumbent Mr. Udom Gabriel Emmanuel, Akwaibum has become the toast of the world. God has been at the forefront of personally choosing leaders for Akwaibum State. And the leaders through their period did excellently well, especially those who um, are indigenous and those who were elected. Look at His Excellency Otoe Komedon Sinkara. He came here in 17 months, did marvelously well. When you look at the projects he did in 17 months, you'd be thinking, did he spend four years? But he did excellently well. You go over and see Obama and his family. In that short period he was there, there was a focus that his government was um, was was keen on. You go to see His Excellency Architect Obama and Victor Atta. You saw that the battle for the resource control was visionary. You look at the projects he brought to bear. Uh, those projects have become the foundation upon which a new acquiring boom has been built. Go to His Excellency uh, Chief Godzilla Budak Babu, aggressive infrastructure provision, and um, you, you see what he did in that period. Then you come to the era of His Excellency Mr. Dom Gabriel Emmanuel, excellent manager of human and material resources, unparalleled in the capacity to manage. Waibum State, the land of promise. Governor Dom Emanuel is fulfilling the promise. Excellent infrastructure, industrialization, aviation development, agricultural revolution, human capacity development, giant leap in healthcare and educational development, peace and security, hospitable people, tourist delight and investors heaven. Join the train now. Come, live and work in Akwaibum State. Governor Dom Emanuel, the completion agenda on course. Only God. Powered by the Ministry of Information and Strategy, Akwaibum State. Governor Dom Emmanuel's administration has come as an icing on the cake. The visionary leadership of Mr. Emmanuel is a fulfillment of the lofty dreams of the forebears of the state and gives the citizens a million and one reasons to celebrate. 33 years of existence. Governor Dom Emmanuel has served the state an irresistible delicacy of good governance garnished with the spices of passion, commitment, accountability, and creativity. The menu has industrialization, aviation development, rural and river rind area development, agriculture, human capacity development, security, infrastructure, and small and medium-scale enterprises. Governor Dom Emmanuel has evidently made a quibble a delightful state and choice destination for all. Everything he touches turns to gold and the state is the better for it.
the Kwaibom uh, state name is registered in every sector of the Nigerian economy. The latest being the aviation industry. Uh, just last week, we celebrated another uh, addition you know, to the fleet. And then I would not want to mention agri. Before now, we never believed that uh, tomatoes can be grown and harvested in a Kwaibom. But today, uh, tomatoes, cucumber, all sorts of vegetables are being uh, grown in Akwaibo. A lot of people are benefiting from it. The people working in the farm, the people working directly in the various uh, industries. Because as we speak now, we have 18 industries to our credit under His Excellency's uh, uh, word. The Deputy Governor of the state, Mr. Moses Ekbo, says Governor Dom Emmanuel is the best God has given to Akwaibo State in its 33 years of existence. While a cross-section of the people see and value the governor more for his passion and commitment to serving the people and getting things done. The greatest gift God has given to Akwaibo, and God really loves Akwaibo, is to do Emmanuel. So when you find a man like that who is industrious, who believes in God, who believes in people, who believes in the universality of love, the zest that he has for his people, for the people generally, has made this place tick the way it is ticking. People far and near have a million good things to say about the man, Udom Emmanuel, who has rewritten the story of a Kwaibun state and launched the people into a rare firmament of greatness. A man with a great head, great heart, because he loves a lot, and a tiny pocket. So one, will, one you dream aloud, you wish that, how wish this gentleman will have this great head, this great heart, and also a great pocket. Because it can be very frustrating when you have a leader who has that kind of vision, who sees far really sees far and is committed to it and want to change things for the better. And, and that vision is propelled by love too for his people. But the pocket is still tiny. It, it's, the largest thing is very frustrating. Where you know what to do, you even know how to do it, but you have insufficiency of funds to get things done. I think that is the dream of the governor, bringing a choir bomb out of where it was, where it was. If you needed a job in a choir bomb before governor don't came, it was in the civil service. There was no alternative. But the story is changing gradually. And when you are building these kind of structures, it takes time, it takes energy, it takes perseverance. And the governor has all those things in place. Very uh, a blessed leader and uh, intellectual leader. Apart from the infrastructural development we experience, he also you know, put in place the enabling environment for industries to strive. At least within this very period of his administration, of uh, His Excellency Udom Emmanuel, you can see number of industries that we had within the state, which is very, very remarkable. Because if you compare the period of time from the creation of the Akwa Ibon State for his, uh, this present administration, how many industries do we have? But at least within this very five years, you can see the number of uh, industries that we had. I think this present administration has done a lot of work in terms of stabilizing the, the, the security situation in the state, in terms of giving people freedom to do their businesses. This place is home and businesses are doing well. The local contractors are doing extremely very, very well under the leadership of His Excellency Governor Dom Emmanuel. Um, take for instance, uh, before now, uh, there used to be a kind of a selective contract that is being given to indigenous uh, contractors. But now, His Excellency, the governor of the Kwaibom State, has um, seen that the local contractors have the capacity to do any level of contract in the state. As I speak right now, um, during this um, anniversary, His Excellency will be coming to my project site to commission a jetty uh, which is being handled by Bernard's Technical Services Limited. In a nutshell, I want to say that Udom has done creditably well. 
as far as I am concerned and the Council of Chiefs are concerned. They are done marvelously well. Udom is treating the traditional rulers very well. All our claims have been approved. A lot of things that we are supposed to, whatever the request has been treated. So uh, Udom has been, has been having this listening ear. You know, uh, Udom is a, is a peaceful person. So peace must radiate around him. All of us are keen into his programs, his visions and mission. And we, I want to, I want you to know we are working with him and we'll continue to work with him. I've been involved in construction since the uh, um, 1999 government, but from 2015, something changed in the construction uh, industry. First, when um, His Excellency came in, the first contract he awarded, I think there were four contracts. Of the four contract three went to indigenous uh, uh, companies that was in august 2015. and in order to encourage us to compete with our foreign counterparts it gave us 60 percent mobilization that has never happened in the history of acquired states when you talk about the quality of work that is being done the indigenous com contractors are keen to compete with their foreign counterpart for a man like Odumi Mano, who's really, really proven himself in the corporate sector to step into the saddle as governor of Akwa Ibom State. You see a man who has been proven in corporate strategy, bringing that excellence into governance. We see someone of great vision with the capacity to turn that vision into reality and very importantly, with the passion of never say die to see it through. His focus and determination to succeed despite daunting challenges is phenomenal and is celebrated by all, including the civil service of the state. His Excellency, uh, the Kingdom Gabriel Emmanuel, who has uh, highlighted uh, human capacity development as uh, one of his uh, cardinal point of his completion agenda. And he has done a lot in terms of uh, uh, workers' welfare, ensuring that uh, the workers uh, receive their salaries and entitlements as a when due, training the civil servant on uh, areas of need. Akwaibum has made giant leaps in critical development across sectors. In agriculture, the state has been strategically positioned for bumper harvest. Food sufficiency is a critical target for a Kwaibun state, and in preparation for that, many agricultural programs have been initiated. I promise the people that before we leave office, 80% of what we consume must be produced in a Kwaibun. Whatever we are able to achieve in this state, in this ministry, is because of the passion that His Excellency Governor Odom Emmanuel has. Presently, uh, we have um, uh, greenhouses along uh, Victor Ota International Airport, and we are cultivating uh, tomatoes, uh, cucumber, pepper, and even uh, onions. This is the only administration that has given interest free loans to vegetable farmers. Of course, cucumber is one of the vegetables, and farmers are very happy with him. His Excellency, in, in order to support farmers, has provided 10 tractors for farmers. Even the cassava farmers, over 2,000 of them benefited from the interest-free loans that uh, he has given to them. All this, I believe, I'm sure that uh, before he leaves office, Akwaibum State will attain the food sufficiency uh, level. And of course, not only in the crop sector, even in the animal sector. The state government has been of tremendous support to the local government areas, strengthening the wobbling legs of the table of the economy of the third tier of government. There are times when it was very grinding, you know, when he assumed office uh, initially. I've been there that long. And um, it got to a point where the 
recession hit us so hard. He gave us funds to, you know, cushion salaries and pensions at the local government level. And, you know, at the Algon level, we hear other states complain about infringement into uh, local government funds. But this is not the case in Akwa Ibom State. Rather, we, in the third year, infringe on, the, uh, on His Excellency because we stretch out sometimes to ask him and he willingly obliges, you know. And very recently, there are so many things he, he has done to cushion the effect of uh, payment of salaries and uh, pensions. And for the first time in the history of this state, from 2015, when he assumed office, not a month of salary is owed. Why? Because of the system he has brought for us to manage the third tier of uh, government. In addition, there is an equitable distribution of investment in the state, where every local government area has landmark projects, courtesy of the Udum Emmanuel administration. The wind of development blowing across the state is strongly felt in the area of infrastructure, which the administration is expanding even into the agrarian and riverian areas. I can assure you that most of the projects will be completed. Things are happening. In terms of employment, there are industries, there are things that people can work. There is infrastructure, there is light that even the, you create wealth. Because when uh, amenities work, you create wealth and then you generate income, generate other things. So His Excellency will hand over a working state. Aquaibum with Governor Dom Emmanuel in the cockpit is cruising triumphantly and covering miles of accomplishment across sectors. From aviation to education, the state has hoisted a banner of greatness. Aquaibum is a potential aviation hub in Africa with investment in the burgeoning aviation sector. Person who has the capacity to engineer resources, he thinks he creates value in a discussion, he creates value in a transaction. When it looks like on the negotiation table that sites are locked, Udo Emmanuel is that guy who shows up and creates value in that transaction. Value that makes everyone win-win, which is why you can find a state government when others are looking at no, the aviation industry is not some place to go to. But what is Udo Mimano doing? He's plunging into the aviation industry and in less than two years making a success story out of it. Aviation development is a critical sector and is a critical component of the completion agenda of His Excellency. And if you get to airports, you really attest to what we are doing at the airports. If you get there, you see we're working on the parallel taxiway. We're working on the MRO. The MRO, we awarded contracts a few months ago, even for the lockdown, but the contractors are on site now. We awarded a contract to an international firm, the Mobilized Society, to make sure they complete the MRO. Because if you check the manifesto of the government, the last 2019 manifesto, completion of the MRO is one of the critical uh, components of uh, the aviation development. If you also get to the other wing, you also see the terminal building, which was a promise by His Excellency. And by special grace of God, December next year, that terminal will be ready for use. The government of Akwaibom State decided to take a different trajectory from everybody else and ventured into a place that nobody would want to touch, and that is the aviation space. And what they've done is to come up with an idea of a world-class airline, bringing in professionals to run it outside the intervention of the government. So what they've successfully done is to uh, birth um, a regional airline of some sort that started here in New York, Kwaibom State, and is slowly but surely expanding to take over the Nigerian airspace. Well, let me thank the governor tremendously for naming that airport after me. He didn't have to do it, but he did it, and I thank him most sincerely, and I not stop, never stop thanking him. In education, Akwaibom State has given the children equal opportunity to develop their talent, no matter what it costs. His Excellency Governor Odom Emmanuel has shown himself to really be somebody that is highly interested 
in the educational sector. That's why in his completion agenda, he has included education as one of the key sectors. Right now, we even have a think tank committee on education that has virtually completed their work. They have brought up a lot of data, brought up a very good map for the next 10 years. Governor Odom Emmanuel did not uh, say he won't be there for 10 years. He has the roadmap covers 10 years of education in Akwaibum State. In the power sector, Akwaibum investment is extraordinary through the foresighted leadership of Governor Odom Emmanuel. This is the only state that has given out over 400 and something distribution transformers to the end users. 216 given out by measure of rural development, then up to you then. 50 given out by interministerial, and 186 given out by my office, that is power sector. We have commissioned income last year, that is for power for all by 2021. So a whole lot has been done. A whole lot of lines have been built. We built a line from Afarobe to that uh, breweries, from breweries across the central bank to Tropicana. You know Tropicana had no power before this government came. We built that one, brought in 2.5 MVA, transformer from ABB in Lagos, and put the, today at least Tropicana has that. Then we built a dedicated line from Tropicana to uh, the substation at airport. In gender mainstreaming, Aquabon women have never had it so good in terms of political and economic inclusion. Has never been this school. He started in involving a lot of women in governance. And his policy of political inclusion and economic inclusion involves women generally. And we look at this in the in this present dispensation, we've had a lot of women being involved in governance. A testimonies transcend political and government circles. From religious leaders to the business class, professionals and the academia, the refrain corroborates that beautiful story of a Kwaibun state is inextricably linked to Governor Doom Emmanuel as God's gift to a Kwaibun state. Leading the park, Prelate Meritus Methodist Church, Nigeria, Sunday Mbang, reasons that nothing can stop a Kwaibun on the runway of greatness because Governor Doom Emmanuel has the ears of God. Udom is an evangelist governor because Udom is more than a real Christian pastor governor. So when he's here, I don't see anything that will stop this step from developing. The testimonies are endless. In all, the people are united in the assertion that the best of a Kwaibum is gushed out on the top of unprecedented leadership qualities of Governor Doom Emmanuel. And uh, I believe that um, he, the governor will live a very robust economy, a, 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 an economy that um, will ensure that um, Akwa Ibom State is a destination that many people will want to come. And um, I believe that given the way that we are going, that um, the governor would have laid a very solid foundation that successive government and administration will be able to build on that will take this state to where we are supposed to be in the community of states. Therefore, the governor has given them great accomplishment to celebrate 33 years of the existence of the state, all subsumed in the completion agenda. The journey continues with joy and a sense of fulfillment.
the completion agenda of Governor Udom Emmanuel in the healthcare sector of Akwaibom State. Provision of modern public hospitals equipped with state-of-the-art facilities in the state. Employment of the finest medical specialists to ensure efficiency in the healthcare sector. The manufacturing of healthcare consumables in the state is a reality. Governor Udom Emmanuel making the healthcare sector in Aquibum State work again for the people. Powered by the Ministry of Information and Strategy, Aquibum State. Welcome to Aquibum, the